Backtrack 5 virtual machine and that's the network card that I'm going to be plugging into it via USB. I'm plugging it into the host machine now and I'm going to present that wireless card to my virtual machine. Now I'm using this one because I don't need to mess about and change the drivers, it'll just work straight out of the box. Connect that to my virtual machine. And click OK. OK, let's make sure that the machine itself can see it by running an airmon ng And that's the interface name that we're going to be dealing with, WLAN0. So I'm going to take WLAN0 down, I'm going to disable it, and I'm going to change its MAC address. If somebody was going to surreptitiously hack your wireless network, they'd probably want to change their MAC address so that you couldn't identify who they were, and this is how you do it. simply changing the MAC address to 00011223344455. Now to actually scan the wireless networks that this machine can see, the command is aerodump dash ng WLAN0. Now it will continue to scan until such times as you press Control C. The one I'm actually looking for, or the one that I'm going to attack, is the one that's simply called PNet Life. Just to stop scanning networks, press Control C. And that's the one that I'm going to attack my wireless network at home. There's two pertinent pieces of information that I need. I need the BSSID and I also need the channel that that wireless access point is on. So that's the command that I'm going to execute to actually scan that wireless network. It's error dump dash ng space minus c then the channel number which you'll remember is on channel 1 minus w then a file name I'm simply going to use pnet live because it's the SSID of that network but that's, that's the file that it will create space dash dash bssid then the bssid of the wireless access point and the interface that I want to use is WLAN0 and that will sit and sniff data packets off that network access point so now I'm going to associate my client with that access point and the plan to do that is airplay-ng minus 1, space 0, space minus A, then the BSS ID of the access point that I'm attacking, space minus H, then my MAC address, minus E, then the ESS ID, which is essentially the SSID that you'll see when you scan for a Windows or a Linux client and then the interface. Now what we're looking for is it's seeing association successful. Now I want to throw some traffic across that link. I want to generate some traffic so airplay dash ng minus three, which is a client attack, space minus b, then the bssid, space minus h, then my MAC address again, and then 
and we enter first WLAN 0. Now while all this is going on, if you look on the other screen under the data column, what we should see is that number slowly getting larger. We want that number to get to or over 10,000 which it is there. Now obviously this is going to take quite some time, I've sped up for the purpose of the video and when you do this in anger you'll probably find it falls over loads of times and you've got to stop and start that command to get more and more packets. It's certainly not smooth. Now that I have that many packets what it's done is it's dumped all that information in my home folder in a file that there's called pete netlive one cap by default it will be the SSID of the, of the wireless network that you're attacking dash zero one dot cap so we're actually crap the web key we use aircrack dash ng space minus b then the SSID, b SSID Actually, I'll just copy out of there and paste in and then the file name where it stored all the data which you'll remember is pinnet live dash zero one dot cap and what that'll do is that will run through that file analyze all those packets and try and tell me what the web key is now I sped this up a little but it only takes a few minutes and there you can see that it's found the key and what you need to do with that is simply take the colons out and you will see that that is the web key of my wireless access point so with very little effort We've cracked the web key, which is why you shouldn't use web on your home wireless networks. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.peaknetlive.com.